Islam in Georgia was introduced in 654 when an army sent by the third caliph of Islam, Uthman, conquered eastern Georgia and established Muslim rule in Tbilisi. Currently, Muslims constitute approximately 9.9% of the Georgian population. According to other sources, Muslims constitute 10 to 11 percent of Georgia's population. In July 2011, Parliament of Georgia passed new law allowing religious minority groups with historic ties to Georgia to register. The draft of the law specifically mentions Islam and four other religious communities. Mosques in Georgia operate under the supervision of the Georgian Muslim Department, established in May 2011. Until then the affairs of Georgia's Muslims had been governed from abroad by the Baku-based Caucasus Muslims Department. In 2010, Turkey and Georgia signed an agreement by which Turkey will provide funding and expertise to rehabilitate three mosques and to rebuild a fourth one in Georgia. While Georgia will rehabilitate four Georgian monasteries in Turkey. The Georgia-Turkey Agreement will allow the reconstruction of the historical Aziz Mosque in Batumi, a jaria demolished in the middle of the last century. Turkey will rehabilitate the mosques at Samsk Javakheti and Akhaltik regions. Kobaleti district, build the Aziz Mosque burned down in 1940 and restore the Turkish bathhouse in Batumi. History Emirate of Tbilisi The Arabs first appeared in Georgia in 645. It was not, however, until 735, when they succeeded in establishing their firm control over a large portion of the country. In that year, Marwan II took hold of Tbilisi and much of the neighboring lands and installed there an Arab emir, who was to be confirmed by the Caliph of Baghdad or, occasionally, by the Ostakhan of Armenia. During the Arab period, Tbilisi Al grew into a center of trade between the Islamic world and northern Europe. Beyond that, it functioned as a key Arab outpost and a buffer province facing the Byzantine and Hazar dominions. Over time, Tbilisi became largely Muslim. Timurids Between 1386 and 1404, Georgia was subjected to invasions by the armies of Turco-Mongol conqueror Timur, whose vast empire stretched, at its greatest extent, from Central Asia into Anatolia. In the first of at least seven invasions, Timur sacked Georgia's capital, Tbilisi, and captured the king Bagrat V in 1386. In late 1401, Timur invaded the Caucasus once again. The king of Georgia had to sue for peace, and sent his brother with the contributions. Timur was preparing for a major confrontation with the Ottoman dynasty and apparently wished to freeze the currently prevailing situation in Georgia, until he could return to deal with it more decisively and thoroughly at his leisure. Thus, he made peace with George on condition that the king of Georgia supply him with troops. Ottoman Empire and Iranian period The Safavid dynasty was in constant conflict with the Ottomans over full control and influence in the Caucasus. From the early 16th to the course of the second half of the 18th century, the Safavids had to deal with several independent kingdoms and principalities, as Georgia was not a single state at the time. These entities often followed divergent political courses. Safavid interests were largely directed at eastern the kingdoms of Kartli and Kakheti and southern the kingdoms of Samsk Satabago Georgia while western Georgia came under Ottoman influence. These independent kingdoms became vassals of Persia as early as in 1503. On May 29, 1555, the Safavids and the Ottoman Empire concluded a treaty at Amasya following the Ottoman-Safavid War 1532 by which the Caucasus was divided between the two. Western Georgia and the western part of southern Georgia fell to the Ottomans, while eastern Georgia comprising the kingdoms of Kartli and Kakheti and the largest eastern part of southern Georgia fell to Safavid Iran. The bulk of Georgia and the region which had historically always been the most dominant stayed therefore in the Iranian sphere. This partition of the Caucasus and therefore including Georgia under Islamic rule was again confirmed in 1639. In 1703, Vakhtang V became the ruler of the Kingdom of Kartli. In 1716, he adopted Islam and the Safavid ruler confirmed him as King of Kartli. 
However, at a decisive moment Vok Tong was ordered to discontinue military campaigns, leading Vok Tong to adopt a pro-Russian orientation, though the Russian failed to tender him the promised military aid. For several centuries, the Georgian kings and aristocrats converted to Islam and served as courtiers to the Iranian Safavid, Afsharid and Qajar dynasties, who ruled them. Demographics The Muslims constitute from 9.9% to 10 to 11% of Georgia's population. There are two major Muslim groups in Georgia. The ethnic Georgian Muslims are Sunni Hanafi and are concentrated in the Autonomous Republic of Adjara of Georgia bordering Turkey. The ethnic Azerbaijani Muslims are predominantly Shia Ithna Ashariya and are concentrated along the border with Azerbaijan and Armenia. The Meskhetian Turks, also a Sunni Hanafi group, are the former inhabitants of the Mesketi region of Georgia, along the border with Turkey. They were deported to Central Asia during November 15–25, 1944 by Joseph Stalin and settled within Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, and Uzbekistan. Of the 120,000 forcibly deported in cattle trucks a total of 10,000 perished. Today they are dispersed over a number of other countries of the former Soviet Union. There are 500,000 to 700,000 Meskhetian Turks in exile in Azerbaijan and Central Asia. There are also smaller numbers of Muslims in Georgia belonging to other ethnic groups of the South Caucasus, such as Ossetians, Armenians, and Pontic Greeks divided between Caucasus Greeks and Turkish-speaking Urums. These are mainly descended from Ottoman-era Christian Orthodox converts to Turkish Islam. Many of Georgia's Muslims defined as Ottoman following Lala Mustafa Pasha's Caucasian campaign that led to the Ottoman conquest of Georgia in the 1570s were actually of Armenian or Pontic Greek origin whose ancestors in eastern Anatolia had adopted Turkish Islam. One prominent example of an Ottoman Muslim from Georgia of Caucasus Greek origin was Razid Mehmed Pasha, who ironically played an important role in suppressing the 1822–33 Greek War of Independence see also Greek Muslims and Armenian Muslims. <laughs> Geographical distribution According to the 2014 Georgian census, there are 398,677 Muslims in Georgia, down from 433,784 Muslims according to the 2004 Georgian census. The Muslim population lives mainly in rural areas 298,668 people, or about 75% of the total population. Notable Georgian Muslims Agsartan I of Kakheti, a king of Kakheti in eastern Georgia from 1054 until his death in 1084. Alahaverdi Khan, Iranian Safavid general and statesman of Georgian origin who was Christian and converted to Islam. Memda Bashidze David XI of Kartli, a Safavid appointed king of Kartli. Jesse of Kakheti, an Iranian Safavid appointed ruler of Kakheti who converted to Islam. Koka Yusuf Pasha, Grand Vizier of the Ottoman Empire who also served as the governor of Peloponnese. Simon II of Kartli, an Iranian Safavid appointed king of Kartli. Yermasikis Mehmed Celebi, Georgian Ottoman statesman. Omar al Shishani, Georgian born ISIS commander. Topic Gallery Topic See also Shavenaburi Iranian Georgians Batumi Mosque Topic External Links Islam and Islamic practices in Georgia